Today we're going to measure electric fields from a lamp or any actual visible wire. So even though something isn't on, so this lamp is not on, as you can see, it's since it's plugged in, it's still creating electric fields along any visible wire. We're going to use the ME3030B. I'm going to take the power switch and switch it all the way on. And that's on with sound. We always like that better because it's easier to uh, find out where the high fields are. And we're going to switch it from magnetic to electric. That's the E. And we're just going to set it over here and see what happens. So it's over 500. In non-sleeping area, we want it between 20 and 30. And in sleeping areas, we want it uh, ideal is 1.5 to, and some people can even tolerate three. So again, you can see we're uh, a lot, hundred over 100 times too high for a sleeping area. So we're gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna take one of the switches. So if you have, we always recommend that anything you can unplug, you unplug, but if you need it plugged in, then we recommend you use one of these switches. It has an on and off uh, uh, toggle switch here, and we like the ones that light up because it tells you if it's on or off. They do have ones that don't light up, but we like these better. And then here's a place where you plug this in, and notice it's only a two prong. So it's designed, since this isn't uh, has three prongs, it's designed for a two prong. So we're going to unplug the lamp, we're going to plug it in, and then here's, and we're going to turn it to the off position, meaning it's not working. So, and we're going to move this back, I mean uh, on. So when it's on, you actually can turn on the light and you're getting light. So. Um, when you turn it off, it actually goes all the way down to one or two, and that's where uh, between one and two is where you want to sleep. Now I'm gonna turn this back on. Electric fields are really determined by distance. So if you're sitting in, in a chair or if you're in, uh, in bed, you always want to measure with this meter and you wanna come away this way. So right here is safe for during the day because it's between 20 and 30, but you would have to come a little farther at night. So right, right there, whoops, a little farther. So this is the distance at night if you had something plugged in and this is where you want to be, uh, the safe level is. Now some people find that they cannot get it that low in their sleeping area. So we recommend that you turn the breaker off. If you do, if you're going to turn the breaker off um, behind the wall where you sleep, you have to check for, uh, make sure aquariums aren't there, smoke alarms, refrigerators, uh, life alert, anything like that, that you need to have on. So anytime you do turn a breaker off in a house to get it down to an acceptable level, make sure you check all your critical systems. And this is how you measure electric fields with uh, visible wires.